Islands, a small fisherman's village at the Red Sea, 350 kilometers north of Jeddah. This town in Saudi Arabia will be developed into one of the most important industrial areas of the kingdom. Through the construction of a gas and oil line from the Persian Gulf across the country, it became feasible to build refineries and petrochemical plants near the Red Sea. Alata's big lift, in association with Mammoet Transport of Holland, contributed a large part to this industrial development. It was 1979 when they started to transport and erect all heavy pieces for the NGL plant of Aramco. After this successful first operation, many others followed. And last year, one started the construction of the export refinery, and again it was Alata's Big Lift who took care of all heavy equipment. At the same time, the contract was awarded to transport and place on foundation all heavy equipment for the Yambu petrochemical complex. By using the so-called module technique, special requirements were needed with regard to land transport and erection. In order to minimize installation time on the job site, all plant equipment will be fabricated and completely mounted in so-called modules. These modules vary in weight from 100 to 1500 tons and will then be shipped as one unit from the fabrication yard in Europort, Japan by a special heavy lift ship and transported overland from the Yambu Industrial Airport over a distance of approximately 7 kilometers to the job site. By using more modern techniques it became possible to transport ever increasing loads. What to think of this complete boiler module. Ten years ago these transports were impossible. Now one can safely carry these loads on special transporters with a speed of three kilometers per hour. For this load one uses two sets of 16 axle line platform trailers with a maximum payload of 832 tons. The load with a length of 24, a width of 18 meters and a height of 23 meters had a weight of 750 tons and is equally distributed on the road service by means of the hydraulic suspension system and 256 tires. Not all equipment can be built and transported as modules. Here a refinery column of 240 tons is transported on two 12 Exaline platform trailers equipped with turntables. A 450 horsepower heavy duty tractor is coupled to the front dolly to develop the required pulling force. The rear dolly is steered independently from the front dolly by means of a separate hydraulic motor pump. It is obvious that these transports are carried out on a specially constructed transport road from the port to the job site. On such a road, the size and weight of these loads is practically unlimited. The transporters are built in module size as well and can be coupled to each other lengthwise or side by side. Additional pulling force can be developed by using one or more heavy duty prime movers. In addition to these conventional non-propelled platform trailers, the Mammut organization owns the latest development in this field, the self-propelled computer steered module carriers. Based on these techniques and experience, one has ordered another new set of module carriers, which will be delivered early 1984. All units will be self-propelled and computer steered, and due to its limited width and length, can be shipped by container to any part of the world where the units can be assembled within one day into a complete transport combination with 2,000 tons payload.
Let's now go back to our module transports in Jambu. This complete furnace with a weight of 250 tons is transported to a temporary laydown area and unloaded by the trailer's built-in hydraulic suspension system. The next day, a module of 650 tons is transported on two 20 extra line platform trailers. With regard to the maximum width and height of this module, one has placed the trailers three meters apart. In the first right axle of the trailer, a sensor is built in and accurately measures the steering angle. The microprocessor quickly computes the required steering angle of the left side trailer in relation to the distance between both trailers and the hydraulic motor pump steers the left trailer exactly in the same turning radius as the right trailer. The operator with steering panel walks beside and steers the complete transport combination with one steering handle. Except the module itself, there is not any other mechanical connection between right and left trailer. With this computerized steering system, it is possible with similar platform trailers to make turns without any mechanical coupling of the trailers. The trailers can be placed parallel to each other from 10 centimeters to 99.9 meters and can all be steered by only one man. This system proved its value during the many module transports in Yambu, especially during the accurate steering above foundation, the computer steering system was indispensable. The module was maneuvered as accurate as possible in the longitudinal axle of the foundation. By checking with the other light, the combination was rolled above foundation within 5 mm tolerance.
The longest column, but certainly not the largest or heaviest one, was this tower with a length of 80.5 meters, a diameter of 7 meters, and a weight of 585 tons. This tower was transported on dolly systems with turntables as well. One Titan just developed sufficient power to pull this 850 tons heavy transport combination up against the 3 to 4 percent slope. We trust this film has given you an impression of heavy haulage in Saudi Arabia and the possibilities which Alatas Big Lift in association with Mammut Transport can offer you. welke Alatas Biklift in samenwerking met Mammoetransport u bieden kan.